Hey jerks! Hey, I'm back, and I'm sorry. It's been a very long time since I've made a video. Uh, that's because living in Central Florida, and from around <clears throat> I don't know, like May until October, it's about a hundred million degrees, and the humidity is disgusting. So that's kind of the reason why I haven't been doing a whole lot of work on the Miata. Um, but as you know from one of the last videos. I got into that really awesome, stupid accident where the woman just sort of rolled into my uh, back panel there. <clears throat> anyway, so got that taken care of. Uh, the, the check, they say, is in the mail. So doing what every irresponsible person does is before I actually get the check, I'm going down to Hope Sound, which is like two and a half hours away. And there's a place down there called Treasure Coast Miata. And they have a... Uh, wait, is that... Is this working? Damn it, it's not. There we go, stabilized. Anyway, yeah, I have a super expensive camera with awesome stabilization, I forget to turn it on. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going down to uh, Hope Sound to pick up a back panel, um, and then I guess I'm gonna go to one of the sherwin William places around here and pick up some rattle can uh, of the SU color that they're gonna put in a can for me. And then I'm gonna actually do something this week. Anyway, so I'm taking this guy down to the Treasure Coast Miata, and uh, so maybe I'll show you a little bit of Treasure Coast Miata and, and show you what it's like. So I'm on my way to Hope Sound, and of course, it's raining. It really hasn't rained like this in Orlando um, for like two weeks, and it's all because I washed my car. So you're welcome, Orlando. Jerks. This is some bullshit. Not safe. I had to make a stop at my absolute favorite place to eat a burger. Uh, fuck, you can't see. There it is. Five guys. Mmm. Like whatever they have normally to get by a cop. Normally. Sorry. All right. I uh, actually went about 20 minutes out of my way to get a Five Guys burger. So five guys, if you're watching, give me a freebie or something. All right, so that was quick and easy to Treasure Coast Miata. And uh, they have a pretty good facility there. I mean, they had probably 20 full Miatas just sitting there. I don't know if they were waiting to get stripped or whatever. And uh, all their stuff was cataloged really nicely. And uh, they had a pretty decent looking shop. The guys there were super nice. Young guys too, like uh, way younger than me. Anyway. Um, I guess this is kind of out in the middle of fucking nowhere, because, like, maybe they don't get too many city folk in there, because uh, they had said that mine was the second ND they'd ever seen. So here it is. There's the piece. There's my, uh, there's my back plate. And um, it is aftermarket. It's one of the plastic ones, too. It's not a fiberglass one. Uh, I wanted the plastic one, because that has a little more give, and, uh, you know, it's not going to shatter if I uh, do something bad with it. Goes to all of you never wow. Trump, I keep saying, you go against Trump. That's fucked up. Not good. Not a good day. Alright, 69. You know, for being uh, for being an adult, I am such a juvenile child. Fuck it. Well, it's day two because I didn't get back from Treasure Coast until I don't know, almost seven o'clock yesterday. And there we go. We've got the uh, the back panel here. Well, hi. Okay, so. I went to my uh, Sherwin-Williams and they were able to put some SU code paint into a rattle can for me. I think that's going to be the easiest way to do things. This uh, this was 30 bucks and that's kind of pricey and to do the, the spray gun I would have had to buy the paint and the reducer and the hardener and then schedule some time where I could go and have him help me spray that down and then uh, there's still no guarantee that it's going to aerate properly, I might get some bad uh, olive, olive, orange peeling and stuff like that, so I just decided to go with this and uh, we'll see how it works. 
I've kind of set up an interesting little thing here. It's a, it's a scaffolding, but I kind of put it at an angle so that, um, so that I'm not necessarily shooting down on it, but I'm not shooting straight on it. So I'm not going to have any, uh, I'm not going to have any runs and drips and stuff like that. At least that's the plan. So these come ready to paint, but, um, the, uh, the guy at the paint store told me that I should uh, rough this up just a little bit. So I've got my uh, 100, um, I've got my 100 grit sandpaper here. I'm just gonna, you know, go over it real, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna use 1000 uh, to scuff it just a little bit because um, this, is, uh, this is already nice and smooth. You know what? I'm not even gonna scuff it up. I'm just going to take the chance of, of actually just doing it. Very expensive, honestly, for a piece of plastic. It was 188 bucks. All right, so let's come back in a little bit and I'll put on another coat and see where we are. Okay, so it's day three and uh, only because I'm lazy, I guess. Anyway, uh, I finished painting this and I gotta say, man, it came out really, really nice. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the entire finish on this thing, but this is, this is rattle can. This is rattle can paint on uh, just a smooth plastic piece. Um, I think it came out really, really good. Uh, probably could have used an extra coat on the top here, but I'm only gonna see that when the trunk lid is open. So let's go ahead and put it on. I kind of uh, saw a brief video. I kind of skipped through it of how to, how to take the old piece off and put it on and um, you know, it's not really my style. I like to just do stuff and fuck it up as I go along and then you can see what I do wrong. Anyway, um, yeah, let's do that. So I heard that all I'm gonna need is a 10 millimeter and uh, I got my screwdriver here to take my plate off. Let's remove the tail lights. See, you gotta come in here and take these things out. Ow, ow. Fuck is my screwdriver? I only got like 12 of them and I couldn't find any. Any of the good ones. Man. There we go. Alright. Yeah, that's set. Good. And yeah, you just pop that out. You pop this. Man. How does this come out? Am I gonna break that? Probably. Take your 10 millimeter, which actually worked. That's a good deal. 10 millimeter here. Whoops. Ah, I lost my little nub. Nub. Screw. These are bolts. I'm sorry, they're nuts. I'm dumb. All right, I'm gonna take this back piece off. Taking this back piece off just to make things easier on my life. There's like 50 little clips holding this in. Almost broke it. Broke one of them doing it. There. You can pull that out of there. And. Alrighty, that may, that makes the whole brake light come out. Oh good, and it pulled the, whoops, pulled a lot of the weather stripping out with it, which sucks, but I fixed it. Alright, I'll take the other one out, 
and then uh, we'll see from there. Second light. All right, then it appears there are uh, two or three 10 mil bolts, or uh, yeah, nuts holding it in. Here's one, this one right here, and there's one on the other side here, and then there's these clips at the bottom, and there's a nut here, and a nut here. And I'm not even sure, I'm not even sure if I needed to remove the tail lights, but it definitely will make it easier to access the things that I need to access. So, Where the fuck did I put my ratchet? What is going on? Found it. Okay. So I'll take that out. Take that out. Okay, and then these clips right here, they're one of those deals where you kind of have to squish them and, uh, and pop them back out. So it looks like there's four of them. One, one, two, three, and four. Interesting that they're different colors, but what else? All right, my trusty uh, pliers that look like they're from 1774. All right, push that in. Not sure if you saw that, but it was easy. And I'm gonna push good no light. Push that in right here. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to push in. Great. So <laughs> oh man. Fucking dynamat. Yeah, there's two more screws right behind the dynamat here. Okay. Obviously the dynamat is holding it on because reasons. Gross. Don't do this. I'm just gonna peel that right off. Now I am gonna save these things right here because I think I want those back and um, should be interesting. Well, that's a good sound. Um, yeah, so that happened. Wow, that sucks. Oh, because this is that, this is that clip I couldn't get through. So I guess I'm happy that this was, ow, this was completely broken. All right, that's much better. Let's kind of put this in here for fitment. Oh, look how pretty that is. That's going to be nice. All right, so got my hardware here. I have really no idea where any of it goes. These are going to go, oh, I see what happens here. There's a little slot for these to go into. I still can't see what I'm doing. Fuck! Right here. This guy slides into that thing right there. And then way over on the other side. This slides into here. Like that. And then, uh... These are the... These go into here like that. See this little nub right here? This is supposed to come out. Uh oh. We got we got people coming over. Look at these knuckleheads. Ready to go. See ya. 
because they were over here, I didn't feel like being all weird and talking into the, the camera, but I did pretty much finish it here, and you can't see it because it's too bright in the background. Anyway, um, so it's on there. It's on there pretty good. Looks pretty good. There's a little bit more gap than, uh, than stock, but um, when you're talking about a little bit more gap, I'm talking a couple of millimeters, probably not even a millimeter. Anyway, um, so the headlights are, or the taillights are put back together. Everything is put back together. Uh, what was I doing, the last thing I was doing? Oh, I was putting um, this piece back in. Done, done, done. Um, so, looks clean. Um, yeah, it looks good. I gotta say. Now, it's not 100% because I haven't uh, done any polish on it, but uh, that's it. Dunzo. If you have an NA Miata and you don't like your back panel because it's cracked and smashed or whatever, it was 188 for the panel, it was another 30 bucks for the paint. Yeah, that's it, man. That was, uh, that's the whole thing. So about 215 bucks, 220 bucks, brand new. Looks good. Um, I do not have the, I don't have the uh, emblems on there, but that's going to be a, a whole different sort of situation. Is they're going to be stick-ons, I think, because uh, let's see, on the back of this, there is no. Um, the I thought it had posts, um, but it doesn't seem to have any posts. Now, what's interesting is the the Mazda one appears to have posts. You can see right here and right there, um, and they're kind of buffed off. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work. I'm going to spend some time trying to get that off. And, uh, and then, obviously, I will have to put this back on. Be nice. Be nice. Yeah, so I don't know, really know where that's going to go, but probably the same place. Because I really like the whole concept of be nice. So, you know, be nice. Recycle, throw your trash out, uh, smile at people every once in a while, don't be mean. That's it. So, yeah, until next time. Later.